rough night, you guys. I forgot to take out my contacts. I think they're fused to my eyeballs. What's going on? Did you guys watch porn together again? Why do you keep doing that? It's always awkward. Oh, wow. What the hell was that? In March, I will have been living with Schmidt for 10 years. I know that because he sent me an email asking how I want to celebrate our 10 anniversary. How did you guys become friends? Was it an accident? Did you hit him with your car and you became his reluctant caretaker? He lived in my freshman dorm and one day he was just there. Hey, hey. whoa, man, what are you doing in here? That's my ramen. Um, it's better this way. You add water to it, you weirdo. It's not a dry treat, it's a soup. Who are you? Schmidt. You freak me out, man. <laughs> <laughs> This is cool. We got a good vibe, bro. You're a man. super weird guy. <laughs> hey, sit there while I throw things at you. Cool. Body slam! No, don't do this! No! And then he was always there. <laughs> and the truth is, is... Schmidt loves me so much. And to be honest, Jess, it scares me. I mean, I don't think I deserve all of Schmidt's love. All I do is tease him. I mean, of course you do. That's all you can do. Do you think I'm a bad friend? No. No, I'm a bad friend. I got mad at Cece for being a model. It's a dumb thing to be. We got in a boob fight. Feels like I fell forward on a treadmill. I'm just gonna say this, I find that arousing, and let's move on. It's just she's smart, you know? And she's interesting, and she could be doing anything else with her life, or at least trying. You know, the weird thing is, I was actually there when she got discovered. You, take your glasses off. Okay. I can take my glasses off. <laughs> I guess I was always disappointed with her for calling that lady. It's just, when I hear all the stuff about Cece's profession, like the dieting, it's crazy, right. and the butt drinking, and the- Did you say butt drinking? Yeah. You can't say butt drinking and then not explain what it is. Yeah. It has two of my four favorite things. I just feel like we have nothing in common, you know? Yeah. You ever wonder why we're friends with these people, Jess? And worse, if we met them now, you think we'd still be friends with them? Maybe not. I should go talk to her. Well, Nick, I'm out of tears. Plum out. All that's left is just yellowish goo. That's right, Nick. Goo. That's a third of my life.